video. If this is your first time ever to my channel, hi, my name is Janae Rochelle. So today's video is going to be a little bit of everything. Sitting at my desk in my office, trying to clear out some storage so that I have enough space in order to film this video. Yeah. Definitely run into a lot is storage space because I film my kids' basketball games. I film footage for YouTube, Instagram. So, and then of course, you know, personal pictures that I take of, you know, myself and family. So it gets quite cluttered pretty quickly. So I'm doing that now before we get started. Walk with the dog who is a little stubborn today. He did not want to come back home. I think it's just more so because we haven't been able to get on, um, get out for our routine walks. So he was just like, I am not ready to turn back lady. So we took a little bit of a longer walk, but I've really been enjoying our walks in the morning. So that has been really helping a lot with just getting out of the house because if you are a stay at home parent, work from home, it is really important to just get out, get some fresh air. And that has been part of our routine. It's been a huge help, especially with just how I'm feeling on a daily basis. And I noticed even for myself that when I wasn't taking the walks, I felt a little bit more overwhelmed easily and a little bit more stressed. Um, if you can get outside, get outside. Um, but today's video is going to be focused on the front porch. We're going to be decorating the uh, front porch for Valentine's Day. Also, just putting everything back in its place. It's not too crazy today, but there will be some cleaning motivation as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have not subscribed yet to my channel, please consider subscribing before you leave. And also, if you are new here, hello. I hope you guys stick around and follow me through this journey. Appreciate everyone who has been watching my videos. If you also want to get some behind the scenes of what I'm doing on my just day to day. You can also follow me over on my Instagram at leave it to mom. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with today's video. So here I am just going to do a quick digital declutter of just moving my photos from one account to another to back everything up so that therefore I have room to film on my iPhone. Um, it does get pretty cluttered pretty quickly. So I have to routinely do this process. So once I was done with my digital decluttering, I went ahead and got started on the front porch. So the front porch, it's been something that I've had to kind of push off because we've been having storms coming through um, lately and we actually had one coming through very soon. So I wanted to make sure that I got it done before it did. So today was a clear day to get outside. So I utilized my time wisely and went ahead and decorated the front porch. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'll also be showing you guys how I incorporated the Valentine's Day planter DIY that I did in my last video. If you did not see that video, I will link it overhead for you guys to go and check that out. So I'm first gonna start off with the bench that you see here. This bench I actually found, um, one of my neighbors was actually getting rid of it and it was a perfect find. It's a nice sturdy bench that I felt would work perfectly, especially when it comes to decorating the porch. So here I am just laying um, over this pink and white marble style blanket that I got at Ross a few months ago. Um, I think it was like $12.99. It wasn't badly priced at all. Um, this was actually the blanket that goes in my office to match the decor in there, but I went ahead and put it out here for the um, Valentine's spirit um, because this was the only pink and white blanket that I had. So um, it actually turned out perfectly. I'm glad that I did go ahead and kind of sacrifice my blanket. Hopefully it doesn't get ruined out here. But like I said, it wasn't badly priced at all. It was just $12.99 at Ross. So I'm just going to just lay this out and then we're gonna be also placing some pillows on this bench. So now I'm just gonna place a couple of decorative pillows. So I did buy two decorative pillows from the Target dollar spot. They were $5 a piece. And then I also added like 
a red toned pillow that I just had lying around the house. You guys will see that one um, and the final look of what it looks like when I'm finished. But these pillows are so cute in person. I seen them circulating around Instagram, so I knew I had to have them. Next, I'm gonna move on over to the door and I picked these garlands up from my thrift store that's literally up the street and I am going to keep going back. They always have really, really cute stuff and I didn't know they had such cute stuff because I never really looked in their holiday side of the thrift store um, because I just thought it was gonna be like some like old used stuff, but they actually have a lot of new items over there that they do get in. So I'm definitely going to be um, utilizing my local thrift store to pick up my future decor um, because these little pieces were like a dollar, dollar fifty. I think the most expensive thing was the banner that I'm going to put on the door in just a little bit. You guys will see that. Um, but all the garlands that I did get from there were like a dollar, dollar fifty, and the banner was five, five bucks. So I couldn't beat that. I, it was like a total of like nine dollars, I think, that I paid for all the extra tidbits that I did pick up from there, but it was totally worth it because it really added um, to this space. Next, I'm gonna be adding these dollar store hearts. So these did come separately. I just combined them and they actually both did have the small heart in the center, but I utilized the small heart for the porch planter. Um, but I still love how it turned out. It is really cute. Next, I'm just going to be hooking this little like love sign onto my door handle and I'm just going to take a piece of what was left over from the garland and I'm just gonna kind of weave that through my door frame there just so that it doesn't move around, especially when the wind and stuff picks up, I don't want it to break or get damaged. So I'm just gonna secure that by just taking the garland piece and just securing it to the door. So I decided to go ahead and place the planter right here next to the doorbell. I just thought it was like the perfect space. I could have used this corner or the other corner, but because we have bushes in front of our kitchen window in the front of our house, it, you wouldn't have been able to see it. So I love this. And then here are some just little pieces of the garland that fell onto the ground. I just swept them up and then I just kind of placed them within the greenery of the planter. So once I was finished up with the window there, I went ahead and pulled out the blanket ladder that I just recently made in last week's video as well. Um, so this blanket ladder was made with heavier wood. It was made with two by fours. So I just thought it would just be more suitable in this space than in the house, in the living room where it was. It didn't sit bad in there, but it was just a little too heavy. But I did mention in the last video that I was going to make another one with the lighter wood. So until I do that, I'm just gonna take this one and leave it out here. Um, I am going to be changing out the blankets with each time that I do decorate out here. So I think it just works perfectly. 
And I do come out here and have my coffee so I can always just grab a warm blanket and not have to pull one from out of the house. So it works. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I'm just gonna lastly just add this mat and this is the final look of the porch. So now let's get some cleaning done inside the house. So I went ahead and picked up a few new products. And this first one is the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner and in the scent bamboo. I absolutely love how this one smells. It cleans my surfaces really, really well and leaves a very nice, soft, lingering scent. So next I'm using this highly raved about glass cleaner. This is the spray away glass cleaner. This is a foaming action ammonia free streak free shine. And this is in the clean fresh scent. I have used this glass cleaner before and I, I do actually like it. It is streak free and it just leaves your glassware looking very, very shiny and clean. So to be completely honest with you guys, this garland and lights literally just came down before I started filming this video. I would look at it literally like every single day and be like, Janae, why haven't you taken that down yet? It looks a mess. So I'm so glad I finally did. And um, I am just going to be storing the garland away. However, I think I'm going to be using the lights out on the front porch because after I decorated it, it just didn't give off enough light for me. So if I do, I'll definitely show you guys that probably on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me over there. ripped up come here want to show everybody your new toy that you already ripped up it was like a frog i mean the monkey yeah you've already ripped it up So I'm just gonna go ahead and boil some water really quick using my electrical kettle that I just picked up for $6 at Falling Prices. You guys, I've wanted one of these so long and it's so convenient. Um, but I'm just gonna pour the hot water into my O-Cedar mop. I love this mop, it's super convenient. You can change out the heads and it has an adjustable wand um, for the mop brush. Um, but I am also going to be adding a little bit of bleach to this. My floors were pretty dirty because I hadn't mopped them in a while. I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Method Score in Mop Hardwood Floor Cleaner in the Scent Spearmint Sage. So in my house, I do have hardwood floors and linoleum in the kitchen and carpet down in our main living room area so this works perfectly for the linoleum and the hardwood floors it just gives a nice shine and leaves a nice refreshing scent behind so now we're gonna go into the kitchen and dining area and get that all squared away this is a perfect time to give 
you guys my honest review of the scrub daddy sponge that i just recently picked up from target i actually was not wowed by the sponge i think it may be just kind of the user error and i say that with being the fact that i think i'm just used to using my cheap sponges that i usually get from like the dollar store which work really really well i think this is more for the pots and pans because it did work really well on that um but like I just don't really see what the hype is all about honestly I will definitely keep on using it and I will let you guys know if my opinion changes on it but I'll probably be alternating between this sponge and my regular sponges that I usually use definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried this sponge or any of the sponges and if you like them or if you are just like I will pass as well I did pick up some antibacterial wipes. These are the Target brand. So it was a two pack, one in the fresh scent and one in the lemon scent. This one is the lemon scent that I am using. And I'm just gonna use this to quickly wipe down my countertops and also my appliances, along with getting my water intake in because I struggle with that, you guys. So if you guys have like a way to drink more water, um, I know it seems so simple, but for me, I struggle with it. I'm just gonna be completely honest. So I am open to any ideas that you may have in order to help me be successful there. So I'm just gonna finish wiping down my appliances and stuff in my kitchen, and then we'll move on to the next area of the home. So this is the condition of my dining room chairs. As you can tell, they are in really bad condition. They used to be white. We got them secondhand from off of the marketplace when we first moved here. Um, and I am so over these chairs. I cannot wait until we replace them. We've tried to reupholster them. We've tried to repaint them and they are still hideous. But um, thankful that we do have chairs at our table. However, I think it is completely okay to acknowledge the fact that sometimes things just are not the way that you like them and they need to be replaced. So please do not take this as me complaining. This is just me just acknowledging that it is time for these chairs to go. So now we are gonna be going into the living room and I noticed that the dog had tore up another toy. Um, this time it was one of the footballs that were in the living room, but we play with him with that one, it was totally fine. But now I'm just putting away my son's puzzle that I had him um, doing while I was cleaning up. Um, so if you are wondering, I do uh, take a lot of breaks in between and you know sit and we'll eat together and things like that in between filming these videos. It's not just straight cleaning all day long. Um, I, at least I try not to, but then there are definitely days where I am just trying to get filming done and my older ones will step in or dad will step in and occupy the little ones. So no one is getting neglected, um, but I do like to have him play independently. I think that is very important that he does play independently along with other people as well. So uh, dad just recently got him some new puzzles. So he was putting this puzzle together while I was cleaning and now he is done with it. So I'm just going to disassemble it and pack it away and then I'll have him go put it away where um, it belongs in his room. I do like for him to 
be um, as helpful as possible. So I do give him little responsibilities here and there. He is six years old. Uh, my two older ones are 15 and 14. Um, so they're pretty independent as well. Um, every now and then you will see them pop in the videos, but they're usually in their rooms or on their phones or watching TV, doing teenager things. So yeah, um, so that is what the kids are usually doing um, or dad has them occupied doing something else. So now I'm just going to switch on over to vacuuming. So the long story short on this is that I've been putting off cleaning this old granddaddy vacuum, okay? Because I knew it was going to be a job. So I did not want to start vacuuming my floors without really deep cleaning this bad boy. So we are going to get down to the nitty gritty of this. So I'm just gonna start off by just laying out a garbage bag and pretty much just splitting it so that all the dust goes on there so it's a little bit easier to clean up. Um, you'll see that the little one wanted to help a little bit. Um, and he did for a few minutes and then he went to go do his own thing. But um, yeah, so we are going to get this vacuum all cleaned up and then I'm probably just going to end up having to wait until the next day to um, actually vacuum my floors. But as you can see, this vacuum needs to be cleaned badly. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I can take this anymore You say we're done, but you still want more Baby, what I need is you out the door This time, I'm sure, yeah So as you just saw, all the dust and grime that came out of the filters and out of the pieces And now I'm just taking a blade and just kind of trying to just get in all the nooks and crevices of this vacuum. You guys, this was a job, okay? Like I even thought I was done once I completed it this night that I was finished and no, there were still little pieces that I needed to take off the next day, but I'm so glad I finally got this vacuum clean because now I can go back to using it. It is like the best vacuum ever. You guys will see um, when I picked up filming again the next day how much dog hair and just grime got picked up it was insane like i had to bring out the shock vac just to clean up all the residual dirt that was falling out of the vacuum as i was cleaning it because it was so much but you guys i had no idea um how much hair was in my carpet like I vacuum pretty frequently, but I was also only vacuuming with my one from Amazon, which is not like a like a true deep cleaning vacuum. So I knew it wasn't gonna be really pulling much out of the carpet, but you guys will see in just a little bit how much grime was still left in my carpets. Like it was insane. So before I move on to the last areas that I plan on cleaning this night, um, I wanted to show you guys the couch seats. Um, so as you guys can see, it is completely sewn together on this couch. I am used to cushions that actually you have to pull off and then all of the popcorn and all the grime gets stuck underneath. In fact, this one does not have that issue. The only cushions that come off of this couch are the back cushions, which I absolutely love because I know that if we eat on the couch and have a movie night that if we spill popcorn or anything it's only going to go so far and it's pretty much just a surface cleaning so i just wanted to share you guys share with you guys that little feature of my couch let me know if you guys have a couch that is similar or do you prefer to have the individual cushions on your couch I'm gonna be putting a under the cabinet shelving under this so you guys will see me do that in just a bit 
Um, the bathroom isn't too bad because we just cleaned the bathroom and the boys have actually been keeping it up pretty well. There's just a few hair things that I have out. Um, and aside from them collecting towels for whatever reason in the bathroom, but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and put in the storage underneath and that'll pretty much be it. Maybe just um, do a quick mop and sweep of this area and then that'll be it. So I went ahead and picked up the Scrub and Bubble Fresh Gels and pretty much what they are are these jelly stamps that stick to the inside of your toilet bowl. You place them where the water um, runs down in your toilet bowl and it gives off a nice scent. Um, honestly, I could not figure out how to get it to stick. I was pushing the side button there um, to get it to pop and then finally... I did it and I was so happy. My son was laughing at me the entire time, but I felt accomplished once I finally did it. Um, but I think these are so cool and it really does give a nice fresh scent when you flush. Now I'm going to go ahead and reorganize our under the cabinet mess that we have here. And this I picked up from Falling Prices for six bucks. It is super easy to assemble. You pretty much just put the sticks into the holes and stack the top piece on. There are also some stoppers that do go on. I already have placed those on here. And then they comes with like three little pieces that go on the sides for like hair ties or anything that you want to like hang on or like hot tools. Also the cords, um, it can be wrapped around that and it can be hung off of there also. So this sat perfectly in this space. So I was really happy about that. And now underneath our cabinet, it's really organized. I do like share this bathroom with my kids from time to time. So we do have a lot of like hair products and stuff in here, um, especially my little one because he has the longest hair in the entire household and his hair is really curly. So we have a variety of hair products that we do use um, along with hair tools and stuff that need to be stored away. So this was perfect. So this is what it looks like. 
very nice and organized. So I just went ahead and put all of our hair care products up top and then all the attachments down below. And then just like my headbands, I do kind of share this bathroom with the boys. So I um, sometimes will do my hair or my makeup in here. Uh, but over here I have my hair tools. This hanger used to actually be on this side, but I moved it on over to this side and I actually like it much better. Down here are brushes. Do not judge me. I have not got to cleaning those yet. I actually just used that brush to do my son's hair tonight. Um, and then over here we just have some clippers and an extra pair of scissors. But yes, it fit perfectly. I haven't put anything in here just yet. I mean, sometimes it's okay to just have empty space. So this night I got majority of the cleaning that I wanted to get done. There were still a couple of things that I didn't get quite done, like vacuuming because I needed to let the pieces dry. But just to wrap up tonight's cleaning, I am just going to end it off with just putting my scent beads into my wax melt. So just so that it gives off a nice scent throughout the home when we wake up and also replacing my air fresheners um, around the house and putting my cleaning supplies away. And then the next day, we are just going to go ahead and finish up the cleaning and getting the vacuum put back together. And that will be it for the cleaning in this video. All right, you guys, so it is now the next day and I figured I would just go ahead and take care of the towels that I used the day before. So I'm just gonna throw those into the wash really quick. And um, as we know, laundry is not my favorite task to do, but when I have the time and the energy to get it done, I just do. And while I was out here, I seen that the washer and dryer was a complete disaster. There was lint and just stuff all over them. I tried to routinely clean them and wipe them down. Um, being that they are in the garage, it has to be done pretty often. So that is just what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a damp cloth and just wiping down the washer and dryer. Um, but I'll probably have to do this probably again in the next couple of days because all the lint that's in here and um, just all the debris from the garage. The only thing that I don't like about having the washer and dryer in the garage is one when it's cold. I don't like the cold and um, yeah. So, but I'm already out here and now I'm just gonna go check on the pieces for the vacuum that we let soak overnight. And there is so much gunk and grime on these pieces that I'm just gonna take my Dollar Tree sponge, not my scrub daddy, and I'm just going to give these a quick scrubbing. All the dirt was pretty loose so it didn't take that long. And then we're going to start reassembling the vacuum so that we can see what dirt and grime we have missed for the last couple of weeks. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Click the bell so that you are notified when I do. Also, follow me over on Instagram at Leave It To Mom. I would love for you to become a part of my Instagram and YouTube family. And also be able to get some behind the scenes to what to expect here on YouTube. And also behind the scenes of just my daily life and my family. So. Thank you guys once again for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys.